Now we've got the basic structure of the house, we'll start to add windows and doors. So simply move your elevations in behind the walls, make it the wall semi-transparent, and we'll go to the uh, building tool set, go to the opening tool, and click where you wish to add an opening. And we can simply use the stretch tool to stretch the opening and the move tool to position it. So hold, clicking and holding the left button on the window and dragging will move the opening horizontally and if you press and hold the shift key and move the mouse left and right you will be able to do the vertical height. Alternatively you can simply go to object options, go to general and you can type in uh, the width and height of the opening if you know it. Now you can see that we have uh, these uh, vertical uh, fenestration on the, the door here so simply click on the window and go to edit the selected window or door on the context menu and we're going to add some vertical mullions and click the 3D button. Just close that down and we'll do a window with the opening tool like so. Now you can actually see that in this window we've actually got a moulding around it. So I'm going to do it slightly differently. So first what I'm going to do is go to the drawing tool set, go to the rectangular hole, set a working plane on that window and drag an opening over that. Go to the colour tool, click and hold the right button on it and drag it, the mouse to the left so we make that solid and then I'll go back to the opening tool and add an opening into that object and scale it. Like so. Now I've actually got a moulding around the window. Now you can see that uh, that window is the same as that window. So what I'm going to do is copy the window and the moulding to that window. Now if I click on the window and copy. All I will copy is the window. I need to copy its parent object which is the object I built the window into which is this moulding. So click on the moulding and press Control C to copy it. Position the mouse over where you want to place it and go Control V. Go to the move tool. Now again if you move the the window you'll move it out of the moulding just hit Control Z to undo it, grab the moulding and move that. There we go. Now if you want the, the moulding to extrude or extend beyond the, the line of the wall, simply go to the stretch tool and click the right button on it to extrude it beyond. Now we've got that shape, we can also do more fancy moulding, which is not very particularly relevant to this model, but maybe for more um, elaborate window designs. To do that, simply move this window out, click on this outer moulding, click build moulding, and that'll build a, a basic gutter moulding. 
click on the newly created moulding, go to options, click the moulding tab and edit extrude shape. And then what we're going to do is select the remove option, drag a rectangle over that. Now you can see we're in a work area of one metre by one metre so that will give you an idea of the scale and that red point is the inner point of the moulding line. We'll go back to add shape and what we're going to do, we're going to build a moulding that steps down you can save your moulding and apply it to other objects. Go accept and click apply and there we've got a more elaborate moulding. As I said we don't need it for that so I'm just going to click on that moulding and hit delete. I'm going to copy that moulding, copy it to that object and I'm going to type in a new dimension for that and scale that window Now the other thing that you may want to add, and that's on this plan here, are window sills. Now to add a window sill, I simply go to the drawing tool set, go to the rectangular foundation tool, set a working plane on the inside face of that moulding, and drag out a moulding shape. And then I can use the right button to position that where I want, and then stretch that. Now that's a rectangular moulding. Since we've used a foundation, I can actually shape that window sill. Like so.